have talked a lot about the Magic Dash styling and options as well and those basic components, but we're gonna do a super quick video where I'm actually gonna build one out directly using more of that complex CSS and styling options. So I'm going to show you real quick kind of the document that I've created. It's a very, very basic document just showing some interesting formatted around some of this text. So in this case here, if I go here and then into my styling, I have a div container with a bunch of other information on creating this weird little bubble box that I have. And that's what I'm gonna be using into our magic dash, just showing how I'm transferring that information. So as always, I need my URL and API key. So I'm gonna go really quick and build that API key together. So we can just have that. So I'll just call this CSS dash. And then like always, I like to add a date. Following that though, I don't really need to make any changes to this. Hypothetically, I could scope this only to the magic dash, but as I'm gonna be testing and doing other items, I'm really just going to create a basic key. So I have this up here, so I'm gonna put that aside and store it for later, and then we're gonna hop into PowerShell. So as always, this is where I'm going to start. I'm going to install my Hudu API module. Okay, so that installed, new base URL, and our API key, which I'm just going to go back over that I have here, copy that and paste directly. I'm gonna do another get hoodoo companies and then I can see that that works. So same URL that I'm looking for, all the same data. I'm just gonna clear that out and let's build our magic dash. So I had that content from before, as I mentioned, and there's a couple things that we're gonna need for the magic dash, but we can really just start by just saying set magic dash. Now the next part is going to be the title, which we can just say uh, CSS format. And then we have our next one, which is gonna be company name. And we can just do Acme Corporation. And then the next one is going to be the message. And we'll just say display. I don't really need an icon right now, nor do I need an image URL. Content link we're not using, we're just using the content, and that's where I'm going to add that CSS styling. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my instance. So right here is where I'm gonna pull the info from. I'm just gonna go into my edit and pull the source code directly. Now, if you have other options or other styling, of course you can build it out. I'm doing it within the WYSIWYG editor just because it's very easy for me to visualize how it will look in my dash, and it's all within the same system. If Hoodoo's able to display it, I'm pretty confident the Magic Dash will too. So I'm gonna do that. Haven't really made any changes. I am gonna double check the spelling of my, yep, it's corporation, so we're all good. And now I'm just gonna paste that content. And then we're just gonna finish that up. And then see, let me see where my error is. Ah, it's having a hard time with my parentheses because there's a couple comments in there. So we'll just get rid of that. And then I'll just close this off. Now let's get to the final one. Icon, image URL, content link, shade. We'll just save this to success. I know it's very small, so I'll do this quick. Just to show how we're doing this. Now I'm gonna hit enter. And we can see that all of this came through properly. The company, the company ID also lets us know where this is going to be placed and then the other items around it, the display, CSS formatting. If I go here, I can just do another one, and there we go, it just popped up. I can open this up, and we see our basic CSS styling and display. And again, I'm just trying to show a really quick example. If you wanna see more around this, feel free to let me know. Thank you, everyone.